Kentucky. Who's next? Young lady who loves you very much. Dev. What? Is this really what you wanted? Wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Blackie, you don't have to punish yourself yes, like I this. Yes, I do. Why? Because it's the only way I could live with myself. A man's got to do it. Yeah, something like that. Well, it's done. So just serve the sentence and just get it over with. And then when you do, you can you can come back and you can start fresh. I mean, maybe you maybe you'll learn how to avoid those pitfalls and. And maybe you could learn how to take that marvelous musical talent no, and Tiffany. use it and not let it no. use you this time. Why? Because I ain't doing no more music. Lucky you don't mean that. Yes, I do. This goes right. It's a horrible business. You can't just play music because you love it. I wanted to be a rock star so bad. And it happened. You'll be able to handle it, Blackie. No, Tiffany, there won't be a next time. I can't handle it. All in, make me believe it. When you hold me, hold me tight. I want to feel it. When you love me, love me right. Make me believe it. Baby, we all make mistakes do things that we regret, but we do get over them. Is it called forget this, Tiffany? Forget? No. But I do think you can learn to live with it. I mean, it doesn't have to destroy you, Blackie. It already has. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. You've got too much strength to let that happen. I mean, if you didn't, you, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. Blackie, you've got to hold on to that strength. I love you. And I believe in you. I always will. you trying to do? Eat. What's it look like? It looks like you're trying to avoid me. Oh, really? My favorite rock and roll woman? Now, why would you think that? Do you realize that this is the fourth restaurant in the area that I've searched for you? Yeah, must be hungry, huh? More like furious. How dare you tell me on the phone that you're hungry and then slam the phone down in my ear? Well, it couldn't be helped. You know, I get these cravings, these attacks. You know, it just came on me. Frisco. What do you want me to say, man? You wanted to talk about something I didn't want to talk about. You want to talk about Josh and the band. That is not my favorite subject. Well, I don't give a damn what your favorite subject is. Uh -huh. So I guessed. Look, I don't know what's bothering you, but whatever it is, you better get over it pretty quick, because we're all flying to New York tomorrow to record another one of Josh's songs. We who? We, as in you, Josh, and the rest of the band. Mm, yeah, well, that's great. Have a nice flight. I will if you snap out of this. You know, we have momentum going, and we can't afford to lose it because you decide to drown in crocodile tears. <laughs> yes, the song must go on, right, Steph? Listen, this publicity can only help your image. You're hotter than ever. Great, great. I always wanted to go out on top. What do you mean, go out? What I said, go out. Pack it in, you understand? Take my feet and walk down the road as far as I can away from this whole gig. Read my lips, baby. I don't want this anymore. 
What? Rock and roll. I'm out of this. I don't want to be in this business anymore. You understand? Nothing. We are booked on a 10 a.m. shuttle in the morning, and you better be there. Come on, man. It'll be six months, I'll be out of the rehab center. You won't even miss me, buddy. Uh, well, it's hardly a holiday camp, Blackie, but as prisons go, it's not a bad place to be. It's the best correctional facility in the system. Well, I'll, I'll tell you how it is after I get out, huh? Watch out for yourself, mate. Thank you, mate. We'll all be here if you need us, Blackie. Don't forget that, huh? Thank you, Ramsey. See you, boys. Why didn't you let me help you? Why didn't you come to me? I would have done anything for you, Blackie. Because it's time for me to take responsibility for my own actions. You always taught me that. You taught me a lot of things, Doc. And it's time for me to practice what you preached. Okay, that is let me be the sacrifice. man that you thought I was. You are the man I thought you were. If I am, if I have any good in me, because of you. I gotta tell you something. Huh? I'm proud of you. It may sound a little crazy in the midst of all this situation, but it took one heck of a man to punish himself and do the things you're doing. I'm not doing any more interviews. Why aren't you dressed? I was sleeping. Why? Well, I don't know. It's just something I do every now and then out of habit. Don't get smart with me. Well, I have to. That's the only time you understand what I'm saying. Get your clothes on. I thought you liked me with my clothes off. I'm not in the mood for this. Yeah, well, neither am I. So why don't you get to the door and leave, all right? I have some serious sleeping to do here. You haven't even packed yet. I am not going anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. Don't you remember? Today, New York. Well, then maybe you are. No, 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 no. We are. You, me, and Josh. Yeah, well, guess again, baby. Get out of that bed. Listen, I am not taking orders from you anymore. You understand? Oh, yeah? Since when? I think you know when. Frisco, we'll discuss this on the plane, all right? No, we won't discuss this on the plane. Don't you understand? We have had our discussion. We don't have time for this. We have a plane to catch. No, maybe you have a plane to catch. I hope you catch it too, okay? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving here without you. Well, I hope you brought your toothbrush, because you're going to have a long wait. Pirelli expects you in New York this afternoon. Well, then he's going to be disappointed. He's also going to be very angry if you're not on that plane. Tough. No, no, no. Tough on you. Pirelli does not like people making him angry. Let me repeat. Tough. What's the matter with you? The same thing that was the matter with me yesterday when I first told you I wasn't going. Frisco. I'm not going to New York with you and Josh. You can't do this. You're hot. Hot? Yes. That's the same thing you told Blackie, isn't it? Probably last week. It's funny how you can so quickly cool down in this business. Well, Blackie was a fool. Yeah, he was a fool. Because he bought your store. He bought the whole thing. I'm going to make you a star. Well, he was one until he blew it. Now it's your turn. Funny, I just got a cold chill down my spine. It's probably the excitement. More like fear. I'm over, Steph. It's done. The business, you, I want out of it. How dare you do this to me? 
You owe me. You're getting paid back in spades, baby. Hey, what happened to Blackie is not my fault. Everything that happened to Blackie was your fault. You have no right to give me any kind of grief or punishment for his mistakes. Yeah, well, somehow it feels fair. Do you think it's fair to do this to a friend? Who, you? I thought we were friends. Come on, Frisco. We go back a long way. You gonna turn your back on me after all we've meant to each other? Well... I think you'll survive. Don't do this to me. It's done, sweetheart. I swear, you're gonna regret walking out on me. No. I don't think so. Where are you going? I'm gonna take a shower. For some reason, I feel awful dirty all of a sudden. Shut the door when you leave. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Okay. <clears throat> it's springtime, you know. It's, it's still freezing out. I can't yeah, believe it. Yeah, I know. You look, um... You look a little tired. No, I'm fine. You thought about you know, taking a week off? Or? Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't afford it. Oh, yeah. I know how that is. Let's go. Yeah. I want to thank you for coming to lose. Sure. I know she thought the world of you. I liked her a lot, too. I still can't. I know. Neither can I. Rose, really, if there's anything that I can do... Thanks. So what's it going to be? You know, I don't really think I'm that hungry. Maybe if I put some food in front no, of No, I shouldn't have even come by. I don't know why I did. Why not? I feel funny. I... With all what's happened, I, I just feel funny. But... What happened to Lou wasn't your fault. Blackie was a friend of mine. He still is. You were Lou's friend, too. I just didn't know if it would be difficult for you to keep the two separate. I... Well, it is a little. Rose, what happened to Lou isn't Blackie's fault. I don't want to talk about it. But you... it's just too soon. All right. All right, I understand. So are you going to be staying in town? Probably for a little while. Well, don't be a stranger. You really don't mind if I come by? You're welcome here anytime, Frisco. Thank you. Well, uh, I think I'm a little hungry now. All right. Take something to eat, maybe, huh? Take a look at that. I'll be back in a minute. Hmm. Must be Frisco's. the top pocket of my coat. Not interested in your wallet. What do you want? We got a message for you from Pirelli. Pirelli and his little goons, huh? I should have known. Yeah, you should have. So you don't want to sing for Pirelli anymore? Well, I'm going to fix it that you don't sing for anyone. Ever. <laughs> Everything's gonna be 
fine. You're going to be all right, I promise you. No talking, okay? No talking. <clears throat> That's sore, huh? Yeah. Okay. Your ribs are going to heal. It's going to be all right. And the bruise to your kidney, that's going to be all right as well. One or two weeks and you're going to be okay. What about... What about no my... talking, please. Listen to him, Frisco, please. Try to stay still. Voice? What about my voice? The ear, nose, and throat specialist that um, saw you last night recommended a speech therapist but said you would be fine in time. What about... Okay. Okay. So... You had a severe blow to your throat. It caused acute laryngeal nerve trauma. Now, we are not afraid that any of the damage is going to be permanent. We think everything is going to be okay. And you're going to have to do an awful lot of hard work with a speech pathologist, but um, you're going to get your voice back. What about singing? I don't know, Frisco. We're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Two minutes, Bert, that's it. Come on, Doc. Give me a break. You want me to catch whoever did this, don't you? Yeah, but I don't want you to tire my patient. That's my first responsibility. Well, why do I think I've heard that before? Maybe you have. Two minutes, and you've got to confine your questions. Just yes or no's, that's all. Fine. Frisco, just a shake or a nod of your head, and that's it, okay? I'll be back. Frisco, I'm sorry to do this to you before you're feeling better. But the sooner we get some sort of a lead, the sooner we're going to catch whoever did this. Now, first, you have any idea who might have done this? You mean you recognize them? Pirelli. Pirelli? His goons. How many of them were there? Two. All right, Rose. You know the waterfront better than anybody else. Does the name Pirelli ring any bells? The only Pirelli I've heard of is the big New York rock and roll manager that managed the band. Frisco, is, is it the same Pirelli? Yeah. Oh, but come on, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it's Steffi's boss, isn't he? And then he brought you in too, right? So why? Why would he do that? Well, did he take money? Did you do something to him? Did you cross him? Quit! What's that? Quit. Wouldn't sing for his band. So then he set his goons on you. This is unbelievable, Bert. I expect this from the mob, but from a rock and roll manager? Listen, nowadays you just... Bert. Have... That's it. Time's up. I don't want you to tire him, really. Okay, that's fine for now. Thanks, Frisco. What are you going to do, Bert? The only thing I can do, press for a complete investigation. <laughs> Sleeping. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Yeah, but I had to come see him. You're not going to throw me out, will you? Uh, Mike, you can't skip school like this. I know, but it'll only be for a couple minutes, all right? Rose. Guess a few minutes won't hurt. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm, I'm here too for school, Mike. Are you going to be okay? Mike. Yeah. Yeah. They said you were stable, but I didn't know what that means. It means he's going to be just fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. What's wrong with your voice? Oh, nothing. You see, I got a, I got a little frog stuck right here. You just have to let him heal. Mm -hmm. When are you gonna get out of the hospital? Oh, it'll be before you know it. Mike. Oh, hi, Doctor. You are supposed to be in school, young man. I know. Doc, it's okay. He promised he's gonna go later. Are you on the case too now, right? No, I actually came in secret. Hey, Doc. You, uh, taking things easy like you're supposed to be doing? No easy job when you're rooming with a real live rock star. Don't worry, he's just listening. I know he's not supposed to do much talking yet. But he's gonna be fine. Right, Rose? You bet. Mike, you know that you're not supposed to be up here. I had to. Well, rules are made not to be broken, so you are going to have to leave. Okay. I can take him if you'd like. Thank you, Rose. I would appreciate it. Bye, Frisco. Hope you feel better. Thanks for coming by, Mike. I'll be back in a little, little while, okay? Okay. Oh, Doc Ray. Oh. Are you going to be home early or late tonight? 
Well, I could probably arrange it to be home from early. You have something in mind? You want to play some catch? Yeah, but first, I want to show you something. It's a surprise I made you in woodworking. A surprise? For me? Yeah, you're going to love it. Well, in that case, I promise I'll be home early. Great. Here? No. There? No. No. There? Uh. I'm sorry. A lot. Okay. Well, what's good that I can tell you is that the swelling has gone down and that the pain is going to ease off a little bit more each day as it, as it heals. What about his voice? Well, as I said before, there isn't much that we can do for that right now. You're just going to have to rest and recuperate and do some good hard work with the speech therapist. How long? I don't know, Frisco. It really depends on how quickly you heal. Like he said, rest is the most important thing. Speaking of which, um, you look like you could use a little bit yourself. Oh, I'm all right. Are you? Yeah, I said I'm fine. Have you left the hospital today? Yeah, I left for about an hour or so when I took Mark to school. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I got a few minutes last night. Ten minutes on the sofa doesn't count, Rose. Really, you got to get something to eat. you got to get a good night's sleep. And those are really doctor's orders. No disrespect, good doctor, but I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. Besides, staying with Frisco just keeps my mind off of it. Okay. I'm sorry, I won't press you. But, um, I do insist you've got to leave here for a little while, for an hour or something, and take a break and get something to eat, all right? Okay. Okay. And when he gets his food, I'll do that. All right. Fine. I'll see you all later, then. And remember, you've got to save all of your vocal energy for those therapy sessions, okay? Mm. Bye. to get through this. How does that feel? I'm sore. My voice is getting better. <clears throat> Don't talk, will you? Just open up. His throat sounds lousy. Can't you fix him up? Young man, I'm trying to conduct an examination, all right? Right. I wonder what's on the tube. Look. The exam's over, Doc. Don't you think that's up to me to decide? No, I don't. You've poked, you've diagnosed, you've x-rayed. Would you just tell me? Tell you what? Am I ever gonna sing again? All right, you asked for it, you got it. The smash video of Blackie and the Riff Raps make me believe it. And here's another song by the same group. Well, what's the verdict? Well, the way it looks right now. My friend said it was great that night. What? Well, I knew a guy who went down to Atlantic City for the concert, and he said... Mr. Collier. He had front row tickets for his go-to consistent... Mr. Consist Collier, please, I'm trying to talk to my patient. Right. Thank you. Just tell me, am I going to be able to sing again? That's all I want to know. I can't say. You can't, or you won't. Look. I'm not trying to hide anything from you, Frisco. Well, you're a doctor, right? You can't tell me? I don't have very much information to provide to you. Yeah, well, you're not handing a lot out. I've told you everything that I know, Frisco. Well, look at that. The crowd's going crazy, right? Mr. Collier. Well, I wish I'd been there. Yeah, well, look at all the money you saved. Wait till I tell my sister that you're my real That's She'll freak all. Out. That is enough. Good night. I, I bought both your records. Mr. Collier. Greg. Greg, shut up. Sorry about that. He is not what's bothering. Listen, if it's any comfort to you, there's hope. What do you mean? The very fact that we didn't have to do any surgery to repair the damage on your larynx is a very good sign. But you don't know. If I'm going to be able to sing, right? We have the top man in this field coming from New York to examine you, Frisco. When? Sometime today. In the meantime, I think that we've got to get to work on some speech therapy as we discussed. Don't you think I ought to wait for this specialist who's coming? I don't think it's going to make any difference. It's not going to hurt you. I think we ought to work with the pathologist as soon as we can. In the meantime, I have prescribed some medication for you if you have any pain, okay? You take it easy. I'll see you later. Frisco, 
whatever went wrong with your voice, I hope it's not permanent. Bummer. You sure could sing. <laughs>